Order accepted. Hello everyone, and welcome to another exciting episode of Choosing Your Settings in StarCraft II. In addition to the in-game settings, there are a few out-of-game settings that help provide a smooth, comfortable StarCraft II experience. Click the Start menu and search for Mouse. Go to Pointer Options and make sure Pointer Speed is exactly in the middle, or the 6th out of 11 marks. This is the default. Also ensure that Enhanced Pointer Precision is not checked. This setting doesn't actually enhance Pointer Precision at all. It enables what's called Mouse Acceleration. Mouse acceleration means the speed at which you move the mouse has an effect on how far the cursor travels. For example, if I move the mouse one inch on the mouse pad without mouse acceleration at 800 dpi, my cursor will always move 800 pixels. It doesn't matter whether I move one inch quickly or slowly, it will always move 800 pixels per inch. But with mouse acceleration on, I can make one inch on the mouse pad equal 400 pixels when moving slowly, or 1600 pixels when moving very fast. For a StarCraft player, this means that to execute the correct orders, they not only have to control where and when the mouse moves, but they must control how fast it moves as well. This puts a serious hamper on the development of mouse accuracy, which is a crucial skill for StarCraft II players to develop. Next, click the Start menu and search for Keyboard. There are two settings here that you want to check on. Repeat Delay should be as short as possible, and Repeat Rate should be as fast as possible. These settings affect what happens when you hold a key down. In StarCraft, we often hold keys down, like when casting force fields or making many units at once. Here, we see Zergling production with a slow repeat rate compared to a fast repeat rate. In both examples, the key is held down for the duration. With a fast rate, it takes significantly less time to spend all the larva, which gives you more time to do more important and more enjoyable things. Here, we see force fields being cast with a long and short repeat delay. The short delay allows the player to place the second force field very quickly when compared to the long. These settings give the player that uses them a significant advantage over those who do not. There are many more examples where this can come in handy that have not been presented here. Remember also that this has a huge impact on the effectiveness of various rapid fire techniques you can find in our rapid fire and other hotkey tricks playlist. My name is Jack Attack and as always, thanks for watching. If you have an idea for a video you'd like us to do, please leave it with any questions, comments, criticisms, concerns, or anything beginning with letter C in the comment section below, and we'll see you again soon.